Good evening, guys. This is Jessica, News Person McGee, reporting here live from the LOL Dolls Rock Concert. Now, we are covering Season 8 Challenge number 7, Chandelier Chic. It is very exciting stuff. We are celebrating Plexi Gel, and because it is so clear, it is so strong and brilliant, so are chandeliers. We had to make a chandelier inspired nail art. I decided that it was a great idea to just make a straight up chandelier for this fancy concert that we have going on. So without further ado, I would like to introduce you to the rock star LOL in my almost six year old's bedroom. Say hello to her. Thank you so much for coming to my concert. I'm so excited. Yes, it's very nice having you here. Thank you for coming. I love my chandelier. Yes, yes, you, you do make a good point. So the chandelier that we made for her concert is an actual functioning chandelier and she is going to use it live in her rock concert and I can't wait for you guys to see it. But first, let me show you guys how we made the chandelier. Back to you in the studio. All right, guys. Now onto the nails. So we're going to glue on some super long tips and cover the natural nail in bonder gel. You cure that on button one and then go in with shaper. I chose to do shaper gel because it is super duper clear and nice and strong and flexible. Once everything is applied properly, cure in button number two and the LED. Now we have super long nails to start our nail art. Today we're gonna be focusing on three different gel techniques flat cured gel, shaped cured gel, and building gel into 3D items. First off is flat gel. We are going to be using the shaper gel because it is nice and flexible. And I chose to use a little bit thinner of a piece of plastic because once it cured, it kind of wrinkles up and it looks a little bit like stripey, maybe zebra stripes. And I think this is a really cool technique. Next up is curing the gel flat with no texture. You're gonna need a sturdier piece of plastic for this. And in this part, I am using builder gel because I wanted it to be a little bit sturdier. You can also go in with a brush saturated in alcohol to clean up any boo-boos before you cure. And here you can see the flat cured gel technique in action. So once you have your little pieces all together, you can adhere them one by one with shaper gel. For some added dimension, Put, cover in protector gel and then sprinkle with sculpting powder for a sugaring matting effect. Then you can go back over top of it with protector gel again to bring back a little bit of shine and add some dimension and depth. Another fun way to add some sass using the flat gel curing method is to cure it on some foil paper. Here I'm using this clear um, holographic foil and it is super cute. So I'm making a lace effect using shaper gel and shaper gel is super flexible. So when I'm done curing it, I'm bending it with my tweezers and then I'm gonna go ahead and cure it one more time to try to keep that shape a little bit in there. And then I adhere it to the nail one by one. The next technique is curing gel into different shapes. So here I'm using a silicone tool that to me looks like spike shape and I thought it was perfect for adding elements into this manicure. So use your nail eyes and anything you see around you that you think you can be make non-stick either by adding oil to it or saran wrap or maybe it is non-stick on its own. You can cure gel on top of it. And so the possibilities are endless. The next step is building the gel into 3D. So take all of your pieces that you've made using the previous two techniques and add them together. When you're thinking of a structure that you want to make, try to deconstruct it in your mind and think of the pieces that it would take to build those together. And that's how I decided to make a cube. So I made six little squares. Start off with practicing easy shapes. That way, when you want to do a tough one, you have lots of practice under your belt. Continuing on with the 3D building technique, we're gonna start putting the lights in. So make sure your lights work before you even start screwing around with them. I'm using an old drill bit as the shaft in the middle of my rotating pieces. And first thing I used was shaper gel to adhere the light to the drill bit. I drilled a hole into my cube that was gonna be big enough to house everything I needed. And then I started to adhere everything onto the nail. Be sure to use the Builder Plexi Gel when adhering it because it is nice and strong and it can handle all this heavy stuff that we're adhering to it. 
and take your time to really make sure that everything is centered and everything rotates evenly. Try not to cure the gel accidentally onto your rotating pieces because that would be no fun. And to complete the whole manicure, you're gonna be using all three of those techniques. So you can see on the pinky, we cut some of the textured flat cured gel and we did the lace gel. On the ring finger here, we made a rotating ball with the spikes on it. And the bubbles on the pointer finger are made using that 3D curing gel technique. So if you break everything down into smaller steps, it makes it a little bit more manageable. And to get these tiny little lights to work, I just followed the directions that came in the package, figuring out which wire to attach to which end. And then we put the battery on the back of her hand and all the wires on the back of her hand as well. These nails turned out so cool. I feel like these are the perfect chandelier for the super fun LOL girl concert that we're about to watch. Oh my gosh, they all light up. Some of them are moving. I mean, these are just the coolest nails. Crystal clear and some matte and shiny parts with plexi gel. Ooh, I just love them so much. All right, guys, I think it's time for us to hand this over to Jessica Newsperson McGee, who is at the concert. All right, guys, it is crazy in here. The crowd is going wild. As you can see, there are so many people behind me. This is great. I want to thank everybody from Nails Magazine and from CND for putting this challenge on. And I got to get out of here because I got to go party. Bye.